One important thing you got to do, once you're rough in set, you've got to block the uh, drain hole so no stuff comes down. The outside panel has been glued and uh, secured now, so that's not going to go in there. This will provide a very good, uh, very good bed for the, uh, for the mortar here, so that is uh, excellent. So we'll go on. I think the next thing we'll do, we'll try to uh, get the cut for the, we'll try to get the uh, toilet set and cut the piece of wood for this size. Hello. And how's your day going today? All right, the next thing we got to do is figure out, uh, we need to uh, get the location marked out for the uh, toilet here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, sawzall and I'm going to cut back this edge you see on here. We, we're not going to tongue and groove. We have uh, two pieces. I have three here for uh, other use, but this is exactly uh, one and a half inches thick. So we're going to take two pieces of three quarter inch plywood and we're going to mate it up in here. And our cuts are going to have to go. Uh, let's see, where did we? Uh, we put a mark here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where we put it. Anyway, we'll figure out. We're going to mark uh, 16 inches off of the center here, going this way. And then we'll set our mark for uh, where we're going to have our uh, stud wall built. Then we can cut our pieces, uh, two pieces of plywood to go over top of here. And uh, you can see I've made sure that the ring is going to sit high enough because the, um, the toilet flange, which is what this is, has to sit above the uh, rough floor here. The rough end uh, has to sit on the uh, subfloor. And then, uh, of course, the tiling will be done around the perimeter of the uh, flange ring. And that'll all be good because the toilet will really sit on the uh, uh, on the uh, tiling on top of it, and uh, none of the weight will really be worn by this borne by this flange, which is as as it should be. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, mark off, and we're going to cut our uh, first big piece here. But I guess first I'm going to take the saws all and uh, clean this edge off uh, here. Always wear. Safety glasses, right? Tell them, honey. That's right. Safety comes first. I only get issue two eyes. Take <laughs> what we're doing is just cutting back this. Uh, we had the tongue and groove, we're just cutting back the groove on here. Right, right, okay. The other thing we got to do too is we got some kind of metal flange sticking up here. And you can see I put my foot right in that crane right there. That one point dry all the way. That's all right. We got to get this, uh, this thing solid up. We're good on that. So, all right. So, what we need to do now is we've got the uh, we've got that edge cleaned up. Let me do one little. Thing. A hardy backer board over top of everything, so it'll be good there. What we want to do now, we want to make sure we're we're going to be uh, 12 inches from the finished out, which we have here, 12, 12 and a half. And then what we have to do 
is we have to take uh, 16 inches off the uh, center line here, our approximate center line. And that puts us right here. So this will be where our stud wall will go right to uh, the two by four and will lay, will lay right across here. So now we can make our measurement to see how big a piece of plywood we need to uh, lay in here. And I'm going to check that right now. So I've got to make sure we have everything out from underneath because once this goes down it's really going to be hard to get down underneath anymore. So we can set this one from the top. Okay. Although I probably will crawl down through some place. I don't know what the hell I'll do, but we'll work it out soon. Okay, so we take our measurement now. And that, uh, that piece is going to be going to be 29 inches. I'm just going to double check that. 16, yeah. That's going to be uh, looking for the widest part of these boards. That's going to be 29 inches. It's going to take a few pieces to do this. 29. That existed in the world. 29 the by uh, year. Europe is a gastronomic mosaic. And uh, 29 you know, by uh, 59 and a half should do it. 29 by 59 and a half. All right, guys, it has been, I'm not even going to lie to you, it's been a tough morning, right? I mean, I've gone down, fallen here in this stuff, trying to negotiate this floor, but we're finally making good headway. We got the uh, toilet uh, ready to go for uh, tomorrow, and instead, nicely now, instead of having to use an angle, we'll be able to uh, be able to buy a four inch straight down and uh, pop her down there and of course we're going to have our uh, three quarter inch for our uh, you know for setting our uh, about half inch backer board and then our towel we'll be uh, tiling around that so we have to make sure that flange is high enough that that toilet is sitting on the tile right. and uh, not suspended in air hanging on this so that's the good news so you see we'll be good all the way around once we get that down and get our measurements set so we're we also wanted to shim this a little bit so that this would make level here with the existing floor because this is about an eighth of an inch lower in height so we got a little bit of shimming material and an eighth of an inch drop over a matter of four feet is not going to even be perceptible to people on that so it saves us having to continuously overlay and overlay. You can and overlay. also compensate with the stuff where you yeah, lay and the everything tiles. Everything's going to get a layer of hardy backer board on top of here before mm -hmm. the uh, flooring material goes down. The important thing is uh, making sure we get good, good strong services. So we're screwing everything down. I'm sort of mismatched with the uh, wood. I'm going to use all the uh, all the stuff. It's going to be different cuts, but. Things should be offset on different angles anyway for ultimate strength. Seams should not be on top right. of seams and all that. So. All right, so we're making headway, but uh, a lot of the day has sure been uh, sure been wasted today. So it but, took a uh, lot more time. Took and, uh, a lot more time and the cutouts for you know the drains and doing little ears for the uh, drain for the shower. But we still got tomorrow too, and if we get a lot of this stuff done today. I have to make a trip down to the lumber yard anyway. I got a lot of stuff to return, get credit on, things like this and all that. So we'll get the uh, we'll get the right stuff, and it'll all be good. I'm also kind of glad instead of this having to go down on an angle. No, I mean it's got a slight angle there, but we can now use a straight drop closet flange there for doing that. So it gets us a more square. Surface. So we're moving ahead, just securing down the lumber as I uh, as I go here. We now know where our stud wall is going to sit here too, and that's a very good uh, that's a very good thing too. So that'll help us delineate our final width in the shower. So yeah, okay. Well, stuff happens. Not every day's picture perfect, but it's lucky I went down between these uh, joys. And, uh, 
What can you say? It was freaking scary. I just walked around scary. the corner and I was like, holy crap. Yeah, there it is. Okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll keep you posted, everybody. Thanks for watching. All right, so we got the, uh, went down to Home Depot. Jen thought, just bite the bullet today and get the stuff so you don't have to go out tomorrow. So we got the right uh, toilet flange, but we really don't have to set that flange until we put the hardy backer board over the whole thing and then we'll screw through the backer board through the two sheets of plywood be a hell of a surface to uh, grab onto for that toilet and then the tiling can just go around it so we'll set that last in the meantime it just sits there I went out and I got more plywood as you know kind of rough this morning here and with the fall that I had and everything I I'm, I'm feel a little uh, you know, shaky today but uh, we're going to get this finish laid out here and get that level shimmed up good so it meets there. And then we're going to start on that, uh, put down the rest of the boards. I don't see any reason now that the rest of the boards can't go down. I don't mind doing the crawl when the time comes to set that uh, to be underneath while Jen sits on top, uh, stands on top there and uh, compressing that, ABSing and getting that fitting done. That'll be fine. What about the pecs there, man? What about the pecs? Yeah, we'll get the, we can do the pecs too. We'll see how much we get done today. We might just start uh, fresh tomorrow. So what we're going to do now is finish this flooring here. And then uh, depending on what time it is, then we'll see about the uh, pex tubing because the water's got to be cut off. So you want to do the pex tubing from crown in? Or? Uh, the, uh, yeah, I think we'll do the, yeah, you're probably right. So I'll probably leave. we got to leave this open here hmm? so you can get under there to do the pex yeah, tubing. Yeah, so I guess we'll have to stop here and then uh, start, start the, the pex tubing. Yeah, I hate so. to say it, but... Yeah, because it's really late today, so the water's got to be turned off and all that, so. Uh, well, it's just got to be done. So, well, the rest of the, uh, some more of the wood can be screwed down today and all that, so. Um, right, all this little piece is down there, and then that one piece where your stand can go yeah. down, right? Yeah, but I guess, uh, do you think it's too late to start to turn off the water and get the... Uh, we can get the pack screwed in and started and just have it capped at the end with, with yeah, lights. we can do that. Okay, so we've got to, uh, we've got to turn off the water heater. In and the, then uh, I'll go shut the water off. Yeah, we've got to turn the uh, water off. We've got to make sure system. we have water. Because I've got to be able to take a shower today. So we'll get the tubing out and we'll do that then. Okay, so we'll move on to uh, getting the pack stuck. I have to get, uh, I have to cut, drill down here, remove this, this, and get a uh, hole down there because I want the uh, fill, fill for the uh, toilet to actually come in about right here. Okay, you don't want it sitting real wide in the toilet to be visible. So. Right. Okay? My bien. Roger. All right. Thank you, dude. All right. So what I'm doing is just rough cutting for uh, size for the uh, PEX tubing here because it's going to come up to the uh, mixer here, the hot and cold mixer in this particular area. So the trick is today, we just want to get them uh, run and uh, under pressure, get them sort of capped off. Then we can finish up the uh, floor and we can take these, uh, you know, at our leisure. We can do the upper part. We're all secured in down below. So I'm just cut rough cutting these. Cutter here for that, so that should be two that'll get us up to the, uh, the shower mixer here. And, you know, they'll work in one from each side here for the hot, for the cold. Now I'll go ahead and cut one. The toilet's going to come up here. I'm going to block that right in the back there. The snakes from underneath. I'm going to cut it a little longer. Needs to be. It'll be fine. I can square it up later. And then I'll have two over here. Two over here for the uh, sink. Come down basically in that position now. And we'll have to drill another hole in there. So we'll send that down. And we want to make sure we have uh, plenty of length here. No need to go cheap. We got a lot of material. This stuff was very affordable. 28 bucks for uh, 100 feet. Is that 
That's, that's pretty good. Was that pretty awesome? I thought so. There's no need to uh, no need to get cheap. So now to get this out of here. We got all our uh, uh, rough connections made. Now it's a question. We want to fit the uh, fittings onto the end of them uh, before I get down there because I don't want to be trying to work the uh, crimper, the PEX crimper, down underneath. So I want to take these, uh, take these, and actually fit the uh, actually fit the connection on the bottom. I'm going to clean up and square these real good, and then I'll show be back to show you how we make a PEX connection. Okay. Put your nose in there. Boing. What we have here, everybody, is the uh, PEX system here. I have a uh, case here. And what PEX is, is a way of attaching copper and steel rings to uh, tubing using these kind of fittings on here. And what they call uh, clamp rings. And I have a bag of them here. And what you actually do is slide the ring over here and you'll take the uh, PEX tool and you'll put it around that and then you'll tighten it up real tight and what that does it compresses that ring for a really really good fitting why do people use PEX these days because copper was five dollars a pound a few years ago even now it's 350 a pound on the commodity market so by the time you're done with all the markups of uh, pipe and buying pipe and all that stuff you're looking at uh, you know five six dollars a pound for copper extremely expensive so PEX was developed as an alternative for that. It's really been refined. It works well. And uh, there's all different sizes. I don't know how well uh, Jennifer can uh, zero in. If you look here, everything is black. But there's, there's all different sizes of uh, PEX heads that you can put on there. Like today, we're going to be using the uh, half-inch ones. We're going to change out the... Uh, ooh, I'm going to change out and stick these in here. You'll see how I'm going to open this up. Here and I'm going to uh, pop these right in, and this works real easy. I'm changing now. It's been a few years since I did PEX, but I did a lot of PEX tubing in my time. And unfortunately, I sold my uh, PEX set a while, of, way many years ago when I needed uh, money. So, what I'm going to do is just tighten them down a little bit, get the socket set wrench here. And tighten them down. You don't want to over tighten. And you make sure you got good alignment. And you can see how nicely, how nicely that circle uh, circle closes there, that crimp circle. So I want to make sure this one might need a slight alignment is critical because you want an even crimping around. Yeah, so Here's the yeah. picture of what all comes in the. Yeah, you can see what comes in the stats. So I'm just. Making sure that these get Change adjusted as there. well as can be, and that's good. And now I will show you, I will tighten this down. I will open the uh, bag with the uh, copper crimp rings. And you can see what one of the little rings looks like. So I'm going to do the uh, one of the connections for the sink there. And I want to do this above. I don't want to do this below. And I'm going to slide this uh, crimp ring on here. And these can be a little tight. I think I'll work it from this end first. These can be a little, little tricky to, uh, to get on there. There we go. I've got the uh, crimp ring on now, as you see. I can now take the uh, fitting and slide it in and move that up so just a little bit of that white is showing between the crimp ring and the fitting there. <clears throat> and then I'm going to put the uh, crimpers on and get it real good on that connection. Open them nice and wide. I almost need three hands sometimes for this. And I'm going to put the uh, crimpers on there and that will nestle in real good. And you can see how I have that uh, pretty well secured and I want to make sure I'm good and square and have that in. Now all I have to do is press that and that connection is now so secure that will stand up to uh, tremendous pressure on there. Okay, it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. And it takes the place instead of using about uh, $200 worth of copper 
We're using uh, $28 worth of uh, PEX tubing and some PEX fittings. We'll be all under $75 bucks for this uh, for this deal. So I'm going to go ahead and make up a few more of these and run them up. And then uh, we'll probably just cap them today and not really screw around with the rough connections because we want to finish putting the flooring down and we want to make sure all of our uh, all of our connections are going to be good and solid. Okay? Thanks for watching as I explained about the PEX plumbing system. Okay? Ooh, okay guys, it is, uh, we're getting ready to wrap up today. Saturday afternoon getting on uh, 4.30 and I gotta be honest, the day was, uh, it felt like a kind of a wasted day because I had to make multiple trips down to the uh, big box store uh, to get stuff I needed, so uh, call it poor planning. I'll take the wrap for that, but some important stuff got done today. Plus, you know, I had a pretty nasty fall uh, down in the hole here, backing up and uh, carrying a uh, sheet of plywood here, but uh, it's okay. Some important stuff was done today. Anyway, we got the uh, we got the drain set here for the shower, and we know that that functions well. We've got the uh, basic roughing now for the uh, toilet flange down here, and we know that's going to be great to go. We've got we know that we're going to be mating perfectly. The surfaces between the existing uh, rafters there and the uh, plywood, the two layers of plywood we're sitting down, we're laying down there. Uh, we've also roughed in some of the, uh, don't worry, like, oh, Rosie, you cut them too short. Well, they come all the way up to here for the uh, roughing, and we throw some elbows in. We got the mixer valve and all that stuff we can rough in tomorrow. So no, not all is lost. We got our new, uh, we got our new, new feed hole put in for the uh, toilet, for the toilet water, and we've got our new feed hole put in for the cold water on the sink. So everything, uh, you know, things work out, it's, it'll be okay. So tomorrow we can put some blocking up here and uh, get things laid out for the, um, you know, for the uh, hot and cold feeds. We can get them secured down on the blocking. We can get the shower done. And uh, get the uh, get the plumbing roughed in and capped off where need be, and then we can lay the floor on. The other good news today, right, uh, honey? We picked up some more two by fours for framing in, so it wasn't a total waste. We've also established our line of where the uh, two by four is going to go here. That that sets our uh, it sets our opening and uh, gives our uh, protective wall between the toilet and the uh, shower. The other good news is. By the time all said and done, we have a darn good size shower over here. So we determined yeah. the opening is going to be 28 inches wide. Yeah. So I am thrilled about that. So that's the upside to the whole uh, deal today. You know, not every day is smooth as silk when it comes to uh, renovating. Yeah. You know, I got down underneath it there, and I was reminded I had three quarter inch, uh, three quarter inch females down there that had to have some. Uh, adapters put on there some coupling adapters to be screwed in there that can allow a male end to go in so you know it's um, you know it's, always keep looking at the bright side of things yeah look at the things that you did accomplish now what could probably happen tomorrow is we're going to make tremendous progress in here and get all the uh, get all the uh, blocking set up and everything for uh, you know our control valves and all that kind of stuff and get that capped off and be good to go so yeah it's uh you know stuff happens uh, i'm okay just got a little uh, elbow banged up but we want to make sure i'm going to get another early start tomorrow and uh as usual jen was a tremendous help to me with uh feeding me things that i need here uh so i don't have to get up every five minutes to get stuff done so okay so that's going to call it a day uh, for the uh, O'Kelly channel here. And then I think uh, Jen's going to be shooting a uh, wrap-up for the CoLab channel here, what we do today. And then I'm going to be doing a separate upload about the uh, PEX system, a really high-quality upload to demonstrate how that's done. So, guys, thanks so much for being with, uh, with, the, uh, with the girl and me today. And... Uh, you know, keep smiling and stick with the uh, rosy girl and the missy. Good times are coming. Lots of more interesting stuff. All right. That's right. All right. Have a good one.